Right, I'm ready for the camp. This is the primitive camp area. And as you can see, there's nobody around. And the sun is setting. Imagine a baseball bat. Okay. I gotta be real quick here. I'm going on expedition for two nights. You notice there's no tent here. There's hard freeze warnings. It's unseasonably cold. It doesn't get that cold like this in the early part of December, but it is. And fruit growers, strawberry farmers are spraying water on their strawberries tonight and it'll form a seal of ice over the strawberries. Well, I don't want to be the thing laying on the ground sleeping with a seal, a ceiling of ice on me. So, I'm not going to do that tonight. It'll probably be as cold, if not colder, tomorrow night. So I'll be doing expeditions up to about um, midnight or so, and then I go home. So I won't be doing the overnight. I'm sorry. I know that's kind of wimpy, but it's it's just it's too cold. It's not that I'm out here alone. And that ties in with my New Year's resolution. I've talked to a couple of real quality Bigfoot people that are really big up. And, um, and they're trying to rein me in a little bit, uh, which I agree and acknowledge. Um, I've been doing good research. I've been doing outstanding research. I've been finding evidence, uh, footprints and howls and tree knockings and all the standard stuff, but some pretty good stuff. And a, a lot of footprints of different sizes I found beginning at Hopewell and uh, going up through Central Florida. Um, I've learned not to give out uh, my, my areas where I'm at. And my resolution for the new year is to never have anything derogatory to say about any researcher. If they have a blob squatch that they think is Bigfoot, well, fine. If they think it is, then maybe it is. I mean, I wasn't there, so it probably is. So I need, if I ever say anything about any researcher, it'll only be in favorable terms. So I need to be known for my research and not for other stuff. So the people I talked to today were really, really good about, they've been around a long time. I'm not going to tell you who they were because you'd know them. They're, they're famous, I mean, as far as Bigfoot people go. So I'm, I'm really glad I, that uh, I had a talking to like that because I needed it. I'm alone. I live alone. I go out alone. And when you're like in that situation, your, your mind can think all kinds of stuff because you, you really don't have anyone to bounce it off of. I've got a friend at work who's the only one that knows what I do in this field, and I bounce it off him. Um, He's a Virginia Tech graduate, engineer, and he believes it's possible. Well, he never finished engineering school. That's why That's why he's driving a taxi for a living. But um, that's really all I wanted to say. I want to get going tonight. This is an area that's been cultivated. Oh, and I want to apologize, too. There's a, a, a Florida um, research team that, well, since I went public with it, I may as well apologize publicly. They, um, it's the... Independent Sasquatch Research Team out of Central Florida. It's a great organization, great people, fine people, probably some of the best that you'll find in Bigfootery. And I had an opportunity to be with them, but things went south, and they went south because of me. Uh, I, I had a misunderstanding about meeting times and stuff. My friends will tell you that sometimes you got to say something to me two or three times before it really sinks in. Um, and I put some things out on Facebook and on YouTube that I should not have, and I, I didn't feel good about it, and I still don't feel good about it because that relationship was destroyed. I'm not trying to mend a fence um, because I'm really better off just being a, a, a wildcat, a lone wolf. That's what I am. I'm not really somebody that's going to necessarily fit in with a, a group dynamic. Um, so I'm not trying to get back in or anything like that. I, I'm just simply saying that, that it, it went bad. If you've heard if if you've heard something about them or anything, just understand it was all about me. It had nothing to do with them. I was wrong. 
I, I was I was I was out of line and I was making ultimatums like well if you're friends with so and so on Facebook then you can't be my friend well that's that's no way to treat anybody because it, really everyone's relationships with people are different completely different uh, they may have a very good and healthy relationship with someone uh, because because I don't doesn't mean that they have to get rid of their relationship so uh, uh, again th those are the things that I, that I should not be doing I, I need to just be doing my research and putting my videos up on YouTube unedited uncut so that the world can see them and and stay out of the editorial page is what I'm gonna do for the next year that that's a good way of putting it just staying away from the editorial page and just stick to the hard news of Bigfoot research and so this doesn't I, I guess I could throw out to anybody to anybody I pissed off I say I'm, I, I apologize I'm sorry I, I can if I know who you know who you were and I think back uh, I, I'm the one that did it I mean but anyway let me get out of here I gotta get on sun's setting and um, I'm gonna be in a low light situation tonight not with the uh, Broadway spotlights so let me go <clears throat>